Okay, so let's just get some more practice working with moles. And we're just going to do a few problems here. Let's look at this first one. Uh, several gemstones include the alkali earth metal beryllium. And how many grams of beryllium are there in 1.94 moles of beryllium? So here we need to go for moles to grams. And you can start here, since we're working with an element, you can find the atomic weight which corresponds to one mole of beryllium, and that is in the periodic table, and that number is 9.012 grams in a mole of beryllium. So we can set this up since we're given 1.94 moles. We can convert from moles to grams using our atomic weight here. So let's cancel out moles and put our mass on top, moles cancel, multiply that out, and you find that you get 17.48 grams of beryllium. And that's your answer. What about the next one? Diamond is one of the strongest and most precious materials. It's an allotrope of elemental carbon. That just means it's a form of carbon. And we're told that a carat weighs 200 milligrams. How many moles of carbon are there in a carat? Round to the third decimal place. So we know that we're working with elemental carbon, so we can use the atomic weight of carbon. And in the periodic table is where you'll find that. And that is 12.011 grams per mole. And we are looking at one carat, which we're told weighs 200 milligrams. So we need to go from milligrams to, we're asked for how many moles. So moles is what we're going to convert to. So let's get rid of milligrams. We know that's 10 to the minus 3 grams is equal to 1 milligram. Milligrams cancel. Now how do we get from grams to moles? This is where we use our atomic weight. And that is 12.011 grams. 4 mole grams cancel. Multiply that out, and we find that we get 0 0.0166 moles. But we needed to round to the third decimal place, which is this one. And when you do, you find that it is 0 0.0, oops, 1, let's erase that, 0 0.017 moles of carbon corresponds to one carat diamond. Pretty nice. What about this last one? Acetic acid is a key component of vinegar, a common cooking ingredient. What is the mass of one molecule of acetic acid? Well, first we need to find what the molecular weight of acetic acid is. A molecular weight, much like atomic weight, corresponds to the mass of one mole of whatever it is that you're looking at. And since acetic acid is a molecule, you can find that molecular weight by summing up the atomic weights of all the atoms in that molecule. So for hydrogen, we have four of them at 1.008 grams. Carbon, two at 12.00011 grams, sorry. Oxygen, two at 15.999 grams. When you add that up, your molecular weight of acetic acid is 60.052 grams per mole. You can find molecular weight for anything that way. So now, what is the mass of one molecule? This is where we have to use Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. In a mole. And if we know what our atomic or molecular mass is, 60.052 grams per mole. And canceling out moles, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules, we find that one molecule weighs 9.97 times 10 to the minus 23 grams.